Back it in. Watch that thing over there. That stand. Okay, bring it on in. Keep going. Whoa! Hang on. You almost caused a collision there. And I would have to pay for it. All right, Obviously back it you up. can't do it very well. All right, back her up. Keep going. That's a little more, a little more. I want to make sure we're in the shop here. All right, that's good, that's good. All right, come here, I want to show you a little secret. This is Tech Tip. Tech Tip time at my friend Pete's. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. All right, come here a minute. Why you got your earbuds on? I don't want to holler at you. Because I'm trying to be in there working. Look, you're working with your headphones on? Yes. That's I not am. really a good work environment. That's dangerous. That's not safety. That's right. Hide it. <laughs> I'm in the paint booth by yeah. myself where nobody can oh, okay. hurt me. Come on over here. I want you to look at something here. Look at what we got. Now, we got a collision job on this car here. There's a collision job that we got to do. But you know what? This is a dangerous car to drive. It's a collision repair waiting to happen. Well, okay? you know what it tells me? What? That she's replaced a lot, that headlight. I didn't even ask you that. You're getting ahead of the game. All right? I'm not even asking you that. Oh. Okay, see, so you're jumping the gun. Nobody even knows what you're talking about. Well, that's because I'm ready to get back to work. Sorry. What we're talking about, we're talking about headlights. Look how foggy and cloudy and mucky this headlight is. Look at that. I can't even see the headlight bulb in there. Can you? No. But as we come over here, this looks like a brand new headlight that I just replaced. Did I put a brand new headlight in that? Did I replace that headlight because it's a collision job? No, my friend Pete didn't replace that headlight, but what my friend Pete did is make it brand new once again. Let me explain it to you after many tries to explain her theory of the situation. So with the headlights they were, let me explain the accident we have here, okay? With the headlights that we got, she actually got in a wreck at nighttime. Do you understand what I'm saying? She bumped into a pole at nighttime. There was no street lights available to see. And she had her headlights on and she crushed her bumper up and you can see the dent on the hood where it hit the hood. What do you think caused that? I guess she couldn't see where she was going. She told me she had her bright lights on. I seriously, I don't know. I mean, who's thinking all that? Who wants to think that far into it? Okay. So she said she had her bright lights on and she bumped into this pole and she was running frantically telling me how her husband's going to kick her ass if she doesn't fix the car undercover and all this <laughs> other crap. For all I know, she's cheating on her husband if she's doing this. Okay? I don't know. But the real situation is... She can't see it with... Is the headlights. Now, let me tell you something else. There's a lot of companies out there and there's a lot of little... Uh, you know, fix it, quick it kits that you can buy that all these large corporations try to Four sell you. Four easy payments at twenty nine ninety five. You see those commercials all the time. Right, and you also can go into your local uh, automotive store and buy these quick fix kits that Perfect. never seem to fucking work, and they cost thirty and forty and a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. You know what my friend Pete's gonna do for you today? For free. For free. You want me to tell you what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to let you in on a tech tip secret. I'm going to let you in on a tech tip secret. Fix your headlights within five minutes. That's right. Five minutes of your time, a couple pieces of sandpaper, and a buffer is all it's going to take to fix your headlight like brand new. What do you think of that idea? Well, you there think there is a huge difference right there. Okay, and, you, and you're sa you're telling me that people at home can make a headlight that looks like that look like that. Oh, yes. I don't know. Very, very that's, simple and yeah, easy. That's hard to believe. The real question is, do you think my friend Pete ought to let the cat out of the bag? When have you ever been able to keep your... Who, 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 who let the dog out? 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I meant cat. Uh, I'm sorry. I meant cat. Sorry Dog, about that. Dog, cat. Yeah. Okay. We got Axel sitting over here sniffing around. It's not even paying attention. You're supposed to be watching, listening, and learning, boy. Little rascal. All right, let me get on with this video. Let me show these people how this is done, okay? Because it's real simple and easy. All right. And, uh, you know, maybe, Miss, uh, I might be cheating on my husband. I might be drinking and not driving properly. Might be able to see the pole next time when she runs into it. Next time. You know, we got to get this car done ASAP. You know why? Because her husband's going to start wondering where her car is because she can't keep it hidden forever. True. Okay, put your headphones back on. Get your uh, little old timey radio or whatever you're listening to back in gear. We got a car in there that needs prime today. Minnie, the body shop girl. Thank you very much. All right, you got the lowdown. You got the scoop. The situation is, is I'm going to tell you all about it when we're done. Watch, listen, and learn, and you too can make your headlights look brand new within five minutes' time. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.